Hi guys, today we are going to see how to remove a watermark from any image. So today I'm going to do it for a logo which I have uh, downloaded from Adobe Stock. So you can see that uh, I've gone to Adobe Stock. So the reason is uh, here you can actually have some other specific options. If suppose you want to do a logo for your company and you want to remove the watermark of this, so you can see that uh, it has an option called preview crop where you can specify various aspect ratios. You could also do this later on in Photoshop. Nevertheless, uh, this is uh, one advantage and you also get high definition images in Adobe Stock. So you can use the download preview option here to click it and you can download it. Otherwise, alternatively, you can go to Google and you can type any image or logo or anything that you wish and you desire to download but uh, you can see that these images have a watermark like suppose for this particular image here so this watermark is different from the one we have here in Adobe Stock so this is there throughout the background so if you want me to add a video regarding this please let me know in the comment section for, for today we are just going to do this particular image so I have downloaded this already and you have to sign in into your Adobe uh, account uh, or else you can also log in and create one. So this gets downloaded as a illustrator file. So the reason why we don't do this as an illustrator is because if you see, if you open it in illustrator, this particular image is pixelated. So that means uh, it is not an illustrator file. It is a, it's an image. So Usually, if you uh, download an illustrator file, you'll be able to separate it. So you can go into object and if you give the option uh, expand, you'll be able to expand this entire image into separate elements and you'll be able to delete the ones which you don't need. But you can, as you can see, this is a raster image. So it gets pixelated when you zoom in. So the, that is the reason why we're going to do it in Photoshop today. So let's get started. So I'm just going to drag and drop this file into Photoshop. I'm going to show you three methods by which you can remove a watermark. So uh, these three methods have various output qualities. So depending upon your image, you can choose which one you prefer. So the moment you drag and drop, you just maintain the same image size. You can specify the mode. I'm going to give RGB color. And the resolution should always be 300 and click OK. So it says rasterizing file because it is an illustrator file. So here you can see this is an image. So here you have the Adobe Stop watermark uh, behind the logo. And you also have a serial number here. So we're going to try and remove all these um, today. So there are three methods by which you can do this. So you will have to do it by trial and error. So we're going to use a spot healing brush. So I'm using the Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 version. And but this version, it's not required that you have to use this particular version. You can use any version of Photoshop and you'll find the spot healing brush. Uh, and the shortcut key is J. So you click on this particular uh, spot healing brush and you can try to remove the spots just like this. So this is how the spot healing brush works. So but you can see that in some cases it's it's a little harder to do it using the spot healing brush. Since because this particular image that we have taken has a lot of things going on and you don't have a clear uh, backdrop. So you have this logo, you have this particular creative slogan text written. So you don't have a very clear background in order for the spot healing brush to work. But if you see the region where you have the serial number, if you do this, this disappears immediately. So it doesn't happen the way it happens here. So in such situations, what you do is you try the second option. So this is uh, another option which you can try. So this is the magic one tool, shortcut key for W. You use the all button to zoom in and zoom out. 
So click on this particular layer. So you select this. <clears throat> so what this does is basically it selects the entire background. And uh, yeah, and you can specify the tolerance here. So if you give suppose a tolerance of 20, only a small region gets selected. So you don't want this. So you give control D for deselect and you specify the tolerance as 100 and you select the entire background. So all this extra thing, everything will be cut. So you can just delete it just like that. Control D, deselect. Here you can see there's a little chunk. So you can just remove this using the marquee tool over here, rectangular marquee tool or any other marquee tool. So just control just delete it and then you can click control D and these regions where the blue background is you can just click it and delete it just like that so just I'm just clicking on it and giving delete that's all control D deselect so now we have a clear logo and a text and we need a background so first I'm going to show you two methods of doing this icon you have something called as gradient so you can use gradients like these which are already inbuilt in photoshop these are of different types so if suppose we take this particular gradient you can click on this i'm sorry you can click on this and you can change the color of this if you want it to be in some other color so you can just click on this and change double click you will get the color palette option so you can change the color in this particular uh, box and you can click ok and you can change the angle to 180 if you want it this side or that side you can change it from linear to radial angle reflected diamond anything so we're just going to keep it as linear you can specify the scale however you want it so just going to keep it in 100 so you have a lot of options here and uh, so I would recommend you using this if at all you want it. And another thing is you can see that the logo has the watermark itself. So you can see that the logo is white in color. So what we're going to do is a simple step. Just select the regions, all the places which are white on the logo. Again, go to the adjustments icon, solid color. You can choose white. Or if you want a tinge of a yellowish tinge, you can choose that, like a creamish one. And you can give OK. So this particular layer has to come above the image layer. So now you can see it's a very neat thing. But if at all you want to clean all this, you can do so. You can use the mark you tool. And you can delete all these extra bits and extra chunks if you like so yeah since we didn't delete it previously so we cannot do it on the colorful you'll have to rasterize the colorful and then you can delete it so this is just an extra tip but we don't want it to be so detailed so if at all you want to do this you have to do this before you give the solid colorful so this is one option so we're going to save this image as a jpeg and you can give the specify the image quality here high maximum anything so we're just going to keep it at the maximum and hit the ok button so here is one another option which you can do is you can download a wallpaper you can specify wallpaper blue high definition So here you have various options. So you can choose whichever you want, any gradient one or anything which has high definition. So you're going to give download original resolution. Let's save as a JPEG. Drag and drop this JPEG into Photoshop. So we're going to close the gradient fill option going to keep it under this so let's try to use the shift tool and increase the size it doesn't fix it it's a good quality so you can reduce the opacity if you want 
do something more milder something like this and you can just control shift s number two jpeg and save it another one you can do is so if you don't want this creative slogan you want to write your own logo and you want to have your own company's name in it what you do is rectangular marquee tool just select it click on the layer of the image delete or control z layer by cut and you can just switch off the layer and you can use the type tool here so you're just going to drag it and drop it throughout the logo and you're going to just center align option and i'm just going to type our company yeah so this is just that you can select it you can change the font size you can change the font style here into anything you prefer so we're just going to keep it at Elianto and if you're using some other font like Arial you will have options like narrow italic and other things so we're just going to use Elianto center line you can change the color of the font into black or white just I'm going to keep it at white okay and click the button okay, I'm going to show you this is the second one and this is the one which you changed it so you can use this method in Photoshop to remove watermarks from any image so if at all you want me to show you how to do it from an image like I had uh, shown you previously the one which had the watermark throughout so please do let me know in the comments section so that I will add a video for that too if you have any other queries please feel free to add in your views and opinions and uh, I will want this page to be a knowledge sharing platform and we welcome your comments and your queries and your opinions for us to improve on our work and I thank you for your patience for tuning into this video please do hit the like button and subscribe to our page there are many more exciting videos coming up for you regarding rendering so please tune in be sure to follow our videos Thanks guys. Bye.